In this video, I'm going to cut open an R107 fuel tank, an early fuel tank, and see what's inside it. We've run into a problem with our restoration whereby the people I bought the car from had bought this brand new fuel tank here, but it's the wrong one for the car and has several issues. The first issue is that this fuel tank is for a later style 107 and on the later style 107s the fuel sender screws in like that and if you put a more modern fuel sender on an earlier car the danger is your fuel tank will never read accurately in earlier dejectronic cars the fuel sender drops in it has a plastic top and then it's locked in place with a big nut like that a much bigger concern for me is the fuel strainer fitting on this tank here. Let's turn it over and have a look. The fuel strainer on this tank has got a different screw thread. It's much smaller than the fuel strainer on a standard Mercedes tank. So this fuel strainer won't fit in there. The strainer itself won't fit in and obviously the thread size is going to be different and you'll also notice that the mesh size is very different that looks like a fuel strainer from a diesel car it's a much finer mesh now i've seen that this style of fuel tank for sale on ebay there's a company called sjs car styling in germany that sells them and if anyone has bought a tank like that i would be so interested to know how the fuel pipe seals the standard in mercedes fuel strainer has a seat inside it where the edge of this pipe seals to, the strainer which comes, comes with that tank there, or came out of that tank, the threads just go all the way through and this would screw all the way in and presumably you'd be just trying to seal it on this edge of this nut, which is not great at all. Whereas on this here, this only screws halfway in and seals against the seat inside. The other alternative to using that new fuel tank is to use the fuel tank that actually came with the car when we bought it. The problem with that is you can see that this fuel tank has been patched several times. There's a patch there, there's another patch here, and also the pipe here is rusted out. Now all of that can be repaired but the tank would have to be cut open and relined and as I say that is similar to the cost of actually getting a new tank so let's cut open this tank here from a similar year, year of car and actually get an idea with what you would find inside a tank of that age both in terms of rust but also in terms of uh, the venturi and where all the pipes now, go the moment of truth let's see what's inside one of these tanks now this here is the breather line that runs out here and that's the part that's damaged on our other tank so we could potentially use that the top of the tank you've got these hoses here one two three four five and these all go to the plastic header tank which sits on top of the you fuel see tank. that they come in here one of them is a short um, pipe and the other one is a longer metal pipe and the same on the other side as well these are to vent the tank and there's another one here this here is the fitting that the fuel sender drops into we could potentially remove this and possibly drop it into our tank and use that this is the fuel return line fitting which on this tank is broken off it attaches to this pipe here which goes all the way into the venturi via this little plastic hose here which often detaches itself so that your fuel return is not actually going into the venturi. The thick venturi itself is held down by these three clips. Well, another interesting thing about these two tanks is, this is the one that supposedly came from the car, you can see it's got another patch up here, is when you put your finger inside it, it feels different to this one here. Obviously I can see the back of this one, but when you put your finger inside the tank, you should be able to feel the inlet pipe there and this vein here, but I can't feel that inlet pipe, which makes me think that this has been modified in some way. The other thing that is different on this tank here, you have the threads, then you have this metal bit on the other side, which is that metal piece there where the return tube comes in it's missing on the other car I'm not so sure what's supposed to be in that gap there whether that's just rusted away or whether that is just 
a gap. I think I've made my mind up. I'm not going to try and use the original tank. It's been repaired too often and I don't know what's been done inside it. I'll cut this piece out here because what I may be able to do is take this fitting off and actually panel bond it on top of the new tank and then I could just use the Dejectronic older style uh, fuel sender to drop in there and then that would almost be OEM. So these outer rings here, especially the one with the internal thread, that's just a plate that's bonded on top of the fuel tank. So if I can get all of this off and this off without damaging the actual rings themselves, I can put that in a rust bath and I can just panel bond that on top of the fuel tank that we've got, take a small notch out of it and drop the fuel sender inside the new fuel okay. spot welds and in theory this piece should just come off like so so all we have to do now is either grind off this these are spot welds here or cut these grind these spot welds out or cut them out and then that should separate from the ring which hopefully we can use once we've finished sanding off grinding off all those spot welds the idea will be that this will sit over or be panel bonded on to the tank we'll obviously put that in a rust bath first and then we will just drop this inside there like so and the cap will screw on it'll have the right fuel sender and that will look pretty oem and you'll never know that was not a dejectronic early sl tank comes to the underside of this tank here the fuel strainer side we've got two choices we could either go with the fuel strainer that came with the tank screw that in and then Option one would be to glue a fitting like that in and just use a bit of fuel pipe. The advantage of that is you could still get a socket over there to undo this at a later date if you ever needed to check the fuel strainer. Option two would be to glue in the actual Mercedes Dejectronic pipe in there and then hope that you could wind that out and the pipe would come out with it. Option three is to very carefully cut a circle out of here and cut a smaller circle out of this tank here and panel bond that circle on top of there then you would have the OEM style threads for the OEM fit strainer and that whole arrangement would be covered by the pad that glues on there so that's one option. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet. I'll have a little think, but I'm going to leave this video here. I hope it was interesting for some people to see A, what the inside of a fuel tank looks like and B, might help some people avoid going out and buying a cheap non-OEM fuel tank and running into these kind of problems. If you go along to eBay and you type in R107 fuel tank, you will see those style of tanks here, two of them both in Germany. These are both exactly the same tank. And if you click on the pictures and you actually look at the reverse, you can see that non-standard fitting there. You might save yourself a few hundred pounds or think you're saving money getting one of these tanks, but just beware that when it comes to trying to seal that fuel pipe to the underside of the tank, you may well run into problems. I mentioned these guys before and I will mention them again. I'm sure you can also get a fuel tank from Euro Parts in America. Sadly, they are out of stock, which is a shame because I'd be interested to see how much they charge for a fuel tank. So buy tanks, fuel tanks from the SL shop. Um, but you'll notice they don't show a picture of the reverse of the tank. And if you actually scroll down to the description, they do say here, Please note the fuel tank does not come with any attachment parts like fuel sender unit, not designed to work with the original Mercedes-Benz fuel strainer. So I'm assuming that the tank that they sell is exactly the same as the tank that we've got that has all sorts of issues.